Okay, what is going on my friend? So, we are currently heading home. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a full display here. And, uh, yeah, so I've done a couple of trips on 12.33. Uh, a couple of customer trips and no spoilers on the customer trips we will go over that on the next robo taxi report and see who on the poll was uh, closest to the actual predictions so I will not give any spoilers on customer success or failures uh, but I will give some observations on what the system has been doing so of course you can't see me very well but I've got the forward cam on so that way the the good microphone can capture my my voice here. Um, we're currently heading back towards my home um, from Pacific Beach, and won't have the whole trip up here, but just enough to, to have a little chat. Um, I will say that something, and I, I could be wrong, but the visuals seem a bit different, seem a bit more high def, a bit more involved, a bit more included on them. It just when I first fired it up, it just it felt like there was more going on, uh, more refined, just better visuals. I don't know if that's actually the case, but it just it kind of stood out to me. The other immediate thing that stood out was this is the build for me that is getting way closer to curbs. I haven't had any curb issues. I haven't had any at all. I've had maybe one or two almost close calls on 12.3, but never actually a hit. And then on this build, no hits, but I've had like three uh, butt pucker moments, we'll put it, as I just watched the curve very closely in our angle of approach and was ready. Because, at the, so I do run on chill assertive. And now what that means, just so I show you guys, chill drive mode. I pretty much stay in chill on the acceleration because of customers, because of the G-forces of the regular acceleration can be too much for people. Um, customers just have a better, more comfortable experience with the smooth power curve that comes with the chill mode. So that's what I use. Um, on top of that, I use the assertive profile on version 12. It's been my favorite. I am observing it now and kind of hoping that we go through some of the early teething as fast as possible with some of these drives I'm doing by myself as well. Um, but assertive feels really assertive now. Like, Mew is trying to race everybody off the line <laughs> and beat everybody to the open lane and the maneuvers and such. And please don't be too bad of a pothole. Okay. Um, assertive does genuinely feel assertive. So I might have to dial back to average, uh, depending, because I know some of you have talked about how the acceleration is insane for you. Going to chill mode might be the way to do it for FSD, and then just go back to your standard mode when you're driving, because even with the nerfed power curve of chill mode, Mew is getting it. <laughs> we, we spun tires on some gravel uh, getting onto the highway just earlier tonight on 12.33. So it is, uh, it is moving, man. And we're gonna have to get over here. Uh, but this little Honda is like blocking us now. Let's see what happens. I mean, really smooth. Let the car go by and we're just kind of getting over. Um, execution's been good. It's been really good. I, I've, I've enjoyed the way the system is feeling. Um, as far as it committing to where it needs to go, I'm skeptical on whether or not the danciness of lane selection has been resolved. Definitely know that real soon with as much as I drive. This is definitely like the within the first four drives I've done is what you're seeing now. So, so very early. Um, but you know, I wanted to get some thoughts, some sort of first impressions vibes because it doesn't take me very long to have accumulated more distance and time on the system than everyone who's already had it before me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get there tomorrow or the day after, uh, aside from a handful of people that drive around the same volumes as me. Um, I know my buddy Elias is always pushing it hard and, and giving me a run for my money as far as uh, distance on builds, which I love. But uh, highway feels 
pretty much the same. I do know, uh, I saw earlier <laughs> when we were getting on the highway, that same entrance that we spun our tires on a little bit, the maximum speed for just a second flashed up to 140 kilometers an hour, <laughs> which is wild. That's getting up to like 90 miles an hour, 85, 90. Uh, but then it quickly switched to 120, which is 120 kilometers an hour or 75 miles an hour seems to be the speed limit set for assertive. It is different per profile. So I know some of you have complained about the, the system actually driving a bit slow for your taste. I would make sure you're using the assertive profile if that's the problem. This guy over here, no headlights on, I'm getting some flashes, but I don't think he'll catch it. Um, I can't do the work for everybody, man. The amount of people that I flash my lights at to, to turn their headlights on, they just ignore me. I just, I don't even bother. But uh, anyway, getting back to it though, the assertive mode has a higher speed limit offset than the other two. Um, on the highway example, which you can see, every time you tap the speed limit icon, it'll change the top speed, just to show you. So 120K or 75 miles an hour for assertive, if I switch to average and then I tap the speed limit, it brings it down to 115K or about 70, 71 miles an hour. That, like, exit lane has always been a sort of yeet to the right, so that's pretty normal. And then yeah, if I go down to uh, chill and I tap it again, it'll reset to 110K or about 68 miles an hour. So that's what's going on there. Good decel for this truck getting in front of us. That was really well done. So I'm gonna take us back up to assertive, tap my speed limit icon and get us back up to 121, which is you know, 75, 76 miles an hour. Um, hopefully minimal exit flops when it comes to uh, highway maneuvers and such because again I understand I, that we're not on the full end-to-end -end system yet on the highway which I get it it's fine hopefully soon um, guessing that's gonna be one of the big updates that Elon talked about was getting the full stack end-to-end -end versus just the city streets the sooner that happens the better I think that'll be the real game changer as far as uh, high tier robo taxi completion results we'll see but it's been okay uh, even 12.3, they did a really good job. I mean, almost 100 trips at around 88% success. That's fantastic, really. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this one can do. Um, I will be running the gauntlet tomorrow. It is uh, currently, what is, actually don't know what today is. Monday, Tuesday, I lose track. Tuesday, April 2nd, yes, as I record this. Don't at me for looking at my phone. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so the uh, Two Motors is his name. That's cool. Yeah, the gauntlet test will be tomorrow. I'll probably run by the bike lane area too on Park Boulevard to see how it handles that. We'll see if we can get back onto the gauntlet properly. Um, the highway entrance. Those were failure modes that contributed to the 88% versus it being higher on 12.3. Uh, so if those are actually resolved, then the performance should be even better. We will see. And uh, tomorrow morning probably, 4 or 5 a.m. Maybe I'll run by and I'll do the flashing red light test again. It was claimed by Mr. Omar, who doesn't like me very much, that flashing reds were uh, were fixed. So we'll go ahead and test that. I will find out definitively what's going on there for 1233. Hopefully it is fixed. That'd be dope. Because that'll be another failure condition gone. And really curious so we just passed the highway the gauntlet entrance uh this this tesla is sitting on our quarter panel which is causing you some trouble here finally they got over and then kind of got back in that lane hey just because you have a tesla doesn't mean you're a great driver that's very apparent um yeah we missed our exit we got bullied out of our exit guys so we got to reroute might actually okay cool we're gonna zip up here to the friars road area and then re-navigate so that's great. Thanks there, fellow Tesla owner. Those are the sorts of things I think about though when it comes to like a customer trip. Um, if I was with a customer, I probably would have counted that as a failure. Um, not probably, I would have absolutely counted that as a failure because now we're rerouting unnecessarily, adding time to our paying customer's trip. And that's not okay. Um, sure, mistakes happen, I get it. 
you know, sometimes you get bullied out of an exit like we did there and the car has to, you know, reroute. That's fine. You know, that's, that's, that is, it is what it is. I graded a higher scale and honestly the, the car should have staged that exit sooner or got on the brakes sooner, you know, figure out a way to get where it needs to around the other obstacles, which is hard. You know, it's not easy. At the level that I'm grading the system, uh, other Uber drivers wouldn't live up to this standard. <laughs> Riding with them, I probably would consider several trips they do a failure. <laughs> so don't feel too discouraged if, uh, if I say that, you know, Mew failed a trip. It's, it's because I'm holding him to a very high standard. I care about, uh, I care about him doing his best, trying his very hardest. I'm like that overbearing father or coach figure that pushes the protagonist too far. <laughs> now, but really good getting us back on course here. And, uh, what I really wanted to see once we get over to it is the Washington street exit. I want to see if it's going to mess up going down a or B. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about as we get over there. So this exit here, as we're coming off of Washington, the system every now and then will decide to take this exit to the right where it forks. It's not okay. That's not what we want. So we'll see how it does. Um, staying on a course there has been difficult for the system in the past. So we will observe. Oh, and as usual, we are we are navigating to our favorite return location, Great Maple. Really good breakfast spot if you guys haven't had it. Uh, okay, yeah, just make sure both cameras are still recording. As I said that, both cameras stopped recording. Not because of heat or anything else. They both stopped at the exact same time. What the hell? <laughs> so, apologies, but I caught it and turned it back on right away. <laughs> so, oh, never mind. All right, now we're fully back at it. Apparently, my forward camera stopped again. Annoying. And they're not overheating. They're both cool. I didn't get any overheating message or anything. I don't even know if you can see what's happening. No. All right, nice Jaguar. I don't know if the cameras caught it because uh, they turned off. But yeah, as as usual, we're navigating to our great spot, Great Maple, <laughs> pun intended. Good returning location, great food. And all right, here comes our Washington Street exit, A and B. Let's see, usually it throws the signal on about here, choosing left to stay on the fork. There it is. But will it actually do that or will it take the Bravo exit? Uh, ah, ah, it did it. Yep, disengaged. System continues to take incorrect exit at 2 Bravo. So, yeah, that hasn't been fixed. That's annoying. Hey, but I'm glad we caught it. That's, uh, it's, it's a real Russian roulette there, guys. And what sucks is that is the source of w at least one of the customer failed trips on the RoboTaxi dashboard. Not only did it fail to take that exit, but it failed to then U-turn, rerouted to the right, and then put itself in a position where it couldn't legally turn left, and that's what it wanted to do, and I had to take over. So that's the importance of route competency, of the accuracy. Cool, a little slow through there, but at least we don't have that false positive issue, which is good. Glad to see that that's still working well. And, uh, ooh, there's the dancey. We got a little, got a little dancey there. Not really a high impact on that. Yeah, but that's essentially it. So highway seems to be relatively the same, and we'll see how 1233 does. You know, I'm gonna put it to work every day. But I will catch you guys in the next video.